How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We've been given clues by Playground Games themselves about a potential upcoming vehicle for Horizon 5 which we're going to show you today. Always like it when we get clues about stuff and we're also going to cover the World Cup results as well. The results are finally in. There is a clear winner so far but there is a certain other country which is starting to catch them up. We're going to talk about that in this video as well. First we're going to talk about the new potential car coming. Now if you do enjoy videos like this guys please do consider subscribing to the channel if you're not subscribed already helps out massively let's get into it now back in horizon 4 every single month we used to be given images which were clues as to what's coming in the next update we don't necessarily have that with horizon 5 anymore it doesn't seem like torben tuesday is a thing some of you may have heard of wordle wordle's sort of just a daily sort of mini quiz game you sort of do it every day and try and guess a word based on letters it's a little mini game well, on the official Forza Twitter, they have made their own custom Wordle, which is apparently a tease for an upcoming car award. They say this, we made a word puzzle to tease an upcoming car award. Can you solve it? You click on it and it's a Wordle. And once you complete it, you will get the word Nismo. The word Nismo is the tease of an upcoming car award. Now, there's quite a few Nismos out there. This could be many things. It could be a Nismo Nissan GTR. It could be the 370Z, Nissan Patrol, Nissan Duke, the Sentra. It could be quite a few different things. We don't know exactly which Nismo it's going to be. This is where I'll bring you guys into it. Let me know in the comment section below which Nismo do you think it's going to be? The GTR, the 370Z, blah, blah, blah. Which one do you think it's going to be? Could it be the 350Z with the Nismo body kit? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. We do have another clue which helps us figure out which Nismo it might be though, and that is this. As you know, when Forza are adding a car to the game, they have to see it in real life. They have to scan it, they have to record the sound. They have to do a lot of work with the real life car to get it in the game. Well, there is a GTR specialist in the US called Nexus Auto Brokers, and these guys actually posted an Instagram post almost two years ago now of the Nissan GTR being scanned and worked on by Forza to be added to the game. As you can see on screen, it was the 2020 Nismo Nissan GTR, which Forza wanted to see and sort of scan. As you can see on screen, they're sort of measuring it. This was in October 2020, so it was about one and a half years ago now, which is a long time ago. However, you may remember on the last Forza live stream, we actually had Mike Brown tell us a little bit about the process of getting new cars into the game. He said this. It does just take quite a long time, uh, a car, it, it takes around, well, it takes more or less a year, right, from, from yeah, starting the conversation with the manufacturer to having the car in the game. It's all licensing, um, right? You've got to get the permission you've got, to You've got to get in, licensing, yeah. approval, then you have to, we have to get hands-on time with the car, we've got to make sure we have the right engine sound for it. It takes a long time to build out the model to the, the quality that it's we do. Big so it's not unusual for cars to take this long to be scanned and worked on to get added to the game. Yes, it's been well over a year, but doesn't still rule it out. That brings me to the possibility that maybe we're getting multiple Nismo vehicles added, maybe some kind of Nismo update. Not necessarily a Nismo update, just that, but the theme for cars in the update, there might be quite a few Nismos. We might get the GTR that's already been scanned, then we might get the 370Z and maybe a few others. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now for series four, which we are currently in for Horizon 5, we have the World Cup going on, the Horizon World Cup, where I think six countries are competing to be the most used car in the festival playlist. We've been given two updates so far. This is is the first one this was week one which ended a few days ago now and as we can see japan is in first place with 24.64 percent of the vehicles used through the festival playlist uk coming in at a close ish second place at 19.23 percent if you check your message center you'll see you would have had a message about this well there is now an updated one as of the 11th of February, so sort of one day later, we might be getting daily updates now, which is going to be very good. But just a day after that weekly update, Japan is now down at only 23.8% and UK is up to 19.3. So although after one week, Japan is winning so far, the UK is slowly crawling back and it's managed to gain about a percent in just a day. Maybe we'll get another update on the 12th of February, which is today, we'll have to wait and see. But so far, the World Cup results are Japan in the lead, UK slowly crawling back. 
Make your predictions in the comment section below which country you think going to end up winning. Do you think Japan's going to take the win by the end of week four? Or do you think UK would have crawled it back by then? Or do you think maybe third or fourth place, you know, Germany or France, do you think they're going to crawl it back and be the winners? Let me know in the comment section below and make your guesses. For the time being, guys, that's everything we had to talk about today. Let me know what you think about the Nismo cars. Which one do you think we're getting? What do you think it could be? I'm sure we'll wait and see. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.